Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Abdul Alim and you are watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will discuss about the general gas equation or you may call it ideal gas equation. So we have already discussed the three different laws first one is Boyle's law in Boyle's law the volume of given mass of gas is inversely proportional to the pressure if temperature is kept constant while in Charles law the volume of given mass of gas in is directly proportional to the absolute temperature and third one that is Avogadro law the volume of given mass of gas is directly proportional to the number of moles if temperature and pressure is kept constant. So now if we combine these law, three laws, so if we combine these three laws then we will obtain a equation that is known as a general gas equation. For example, Boyle's law V is inversely proportional to 1 upon P, P. Charles law V is directly proportional to the T and Avogadro law V is directly proportional to the number of moles if pressure and temperature constant. So then if we combine all these uh, laws so we will get an equation PV is equal to nRT and R is a constant that is called gas constant so its value is uh, we can calculate the value of R in two units uh, in ATM pressure if pressure is in ATM and temperature is in Kelvin and uh, volume is in dm cube so we can calculate the value of r that is equal to 0 0.821 we can also calculate the value of r in other unit si unit for example if we are changing the volume in meter cube and uh, pressure in pascal so we will obtain the value of r that would be equal to 8.314 so this is the this is the value of r that is always constant so this value general gas constant so we can calculate the number of uh, different variables such as pressure volume by this equation and if if for example both uh, initial volume and pressure is p1 v1 upon t1 is equal to r if the number of moles initially are one mole so then for in other case that would be equal to p2 v2 upon t2 so both these equation are equal to r so we can we can combine this this equation with uh, another and obtain p1 v1 upon t1 is equal to p2 v2 upon t2 so this is the uh, a really important equation that we can uh, solve the number of problems by this equation so if you like my video you uh, subscribe it share it and also thanks for watching my video okay mm -hmm.